Hi, this is your 5 minute geography lesson. We're covering theme 2, element 5, changing population. Hand out the exercise books please. I'm Mr S and I'll be your 5 minute teacher. By mid-2018, the UK's population had reached 66.5 million people. The UK's population rate between 2017 and 18 was just 0.6%. And this is the smallest growth rate in the UK since 2004. Now there are many reasons why the UK's population is changing. These reasons can be categorised into what we always look at in geography, social, political and economic factors. Now before we start, I'm going to apologise. If you've been watching these in sequence, you'll know that last lesson went on for more than double of the prescribed five minutes of geography lesson. So today I'm hoping to make up for that by making this particularly short. So let's get straight into it. Starting with the social. One of the reasons why we have a high life expectancy, people living for longer, and low death rate, less people dying, is because we have a fantastic universal healthcare system. Healthcare that is free at the point of use for everybody in the UK. Our culture has also changed over the last 50 to 100 years. Women are now being educated for longer and are working or having careers where they wouldn't have had that 50 years ago. Maybe it's even uh, shorter than that. It's still not a universal playing field for everybody and there is still a gender imbalance, but women are putting off having children till later on in life, which reduces their fertility rate, the amount of children that they may have across the course of their life. We also have an increase in availability and use of contraceptives, such as condoms and the contraceptive pill. This reduces the number of babies being born, birth rates. There are economic factors. So the cost of raising a family, having a child, as it says in the diagram there, 38% of the UK's income, so a family's income, goes on a child in the home. Imagine what that would be if they had two or three children. So having less children, or not having any children at all, looks more favourable so that people can spend the hard earned money. On the other side of it, there's an increase in birth rate because of the UK's maternity plans. This allows uh, women to have time off paid from work so they can raise a child. This has also been extended to include paternity pay, which includes fathers having time off as well, with the government trying to increase our birth rate. Political factors such as migration, those that usually come to the UK are of working age, which means they're of a young age enough to have a family, so more likely to have a family and increase the fertility rate. And then vaccinations. We have easily accessible, free, again, vaccinations for young children, for common childhood diseases, which reduces the infant mortality rate. And we have a whole host of vaccination programs throughout the course of a person's life to try and reduce the risk of catching some of these really nasty diseases that once plagued us in the past. So that reduces our birth, uh, death rate. Well, that's it for today. But we'll continue your revision by completing the now try tasks for homework. Class dismissed.